Welcome back Drinks fans, I'm Steve the Barman. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the classic, the five classic uh, brandy cocktails, the accessible ones. There are loads of brandy cocktails out there, but these are the five most famous ones. Uh, if you're coming watching off the back of my first video in this series, uh, what is brandy? Uh, I kind of explained why I'm going to be using Seven Tails. Uh, and I've kind of, in that other video, I was kind of talking about uh, what differences between cognac and armagnac and pisco and grappa and all those other things. So go and check out that other video if you want to find out exactly what brand is and why I'm inspired to do this kind of series. Something that I would generally never do on my channel. Uh, but this video, as I say, the five classic uh, uh, brandy cocktails. We're going to do the Brandy Alexander, the Brandy Sour, the Champagne Cocktail. Uh, we're going to be doing the Sidecar and the Between the Sheets, okay? Uh, as I say, this is not a video I'd normally do. I don't normally do classic cocktails. I leave that for Greg, Leandro, Steve, STB, Aussie STB, uh, all the other brilliant kind of classic cocktail bartenders out there. I generally do the fun stuff, but I love brandy so much. I wanted to do this series for you and kind of help do my little bit to help Seven Tails because it is an amazing, amazing concept. So go and check out the, uh, the last video I did. And the second, uh, the third video that's coming up will be placing base spirits like rum, like vodka, and like gin in your classic cocktails with brandy and showing you how versatile uh, it is. And then in the fourth uh, video that I'm going to do in this series is going to be my kind of fun and fruity uh, kind of flips flat. So let's crack on. Right then, cocktail number one, I'm going to do the Brandy Alexander for you. Uh, it's served up in a coupe glass, and I'm going to try and fly through these as quickly as I can. Uh, first ingredient uh, I'm going to do is my seven tails, as I say, um, links in there. I'll even pinpoint exactly in the previous video exactly where you can find out about this because it's right at the end and it's a long video. So uh, I'm going uh, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of uh, my brandy in there. Let's get rid of cognac. Cognac doesn't need to be on there. We're going brandy. Second ingredient uh, is a dark cacao. Uh, not a chocolate, not something like Mozart um, or Bouvray. Uh, I wouldn't use that in a brandy. Uh, Alexander, I'd go something like this. Uh, and I want 20 ml of um, uh, dark cacao. And then I want some white cacao as well. And... Uh, Traditionally, not too much. Uh, again, I've got bowls, a little bit of bowls here. I will be swapping over to uh, to Giffard once these have gone. Uh, I just want 10 mil. So I trad traditionally do sort of two thirds um, dark cacao, one third white cacao in here. Uh, so I'm going 10 mil of that. And then the final ingredient for this is traditionally uh, cream or half and half. Half and half is essentially cream, cream and milk to make it a bit thicker. As I've said on my channel a lot of the time, I don't kind of um, use too much dairy. I can handle it, but I'm more of a semi-skimmed uh, kind of milk kind of guy, whichever that is in America. Is that 2% in America? I don't know. So I do actually use um, quite a lot of Alpro milks and things like that. Uh, I'm just using the almonds. I would recommend, as a traditionalist, I would recommend going half and half if you can handle dairy. Um, but I'm just going to use a bit of Alpro, a bit of almonds. And I actually do really like the taste of this. Uh, so I've got a bit of almond milk there. Now we're just going to uh, shake this down. Let's just use the ice, use the hands for this. So hard and fast, proper welly. There we go. Once that's all nicely shaken up, uh, and again, this will look different in colour, obviously, because I've used uh, the almond milk in here. Uh, double strain. Just nice, smooth cocktail. And cream, and that will froth up slightly more as well. So you'll have a bit, you'll have a thicker cocktail if you use half and half or cream. And then you will with this. But as I say, I, can't, I do actually like these uh, almond milks. And then to garnish... I've lost my grater. There we go, found it. Uh, and then great, I would grate some nutmeg over the top. As I say. So traditional would be kind of nice sort of white um, cocktail, but that is uh, the Brandy Alexander. Delicious brandy. Brandy and chocolate is lovely. I actually do really, really love it with almond milk as well. I really do, it just adds something a little bit to it for me, but as I say, traditional wise, we are talking half and half. Amazing, I absolutely love that, I really do. I wish I could handle more dairy, I, I wish I do. Right, uh, the next thing I'm going for, possibly my favorite uh, brandy serve, and it's the brandy sour. 
uh, and this is quite I make this quite punchy. I think my recipe is slightly different to um, kind of the a normal one. I actually so I work in ounces for this. I actually go sixty mil. I think that extra sort of ten mil punches through. Uh, they would do for fifty mil. So I've got fifty there and ten there. So I've got 60 mil of that. I go traditional with lemon juice, uh, 25 mil of lemon juice. There we go. I actually do love adding a bit of uh, an orange liqueur in there as well. If I was going to, I want to make this classic, but if I it was for, it was for me, I would actually use something like uh, Fortunella, uh, which is my kind of orange liqueur. It's kumquat uh, liqueur, this one. But think Grand Marnier, think dry orange curacao. I think that works amazingly well in a in a uh, brandy sour. But have, however, I'm going traditional, so I've got my 60 ml of uh, two ounces of brandy. I've done 25 ml of um, uh, lemon juice. I'm going 15 ml of normal sugar. Uh, so half an ounce. I should really have done 30 ml for lemon juice but I actually like it a bit less uh, so I'm going 15 ml of sugar in there and then the f uh, two more ingredients uh, the first of which is um, um, kind of your Angostura bitters but as if you read this to this channel will know I use Miss Betters bitters uh, for my aromatics uh, so I'm going about a quarter of a pepper about well, actually a bit more uh, there we go that'll do that'll be the equivalent of about two dashes uh, you could add another one if you want to could go a third of a pet for like three dashes that'd be perfect and then obviously the final ingredient for a sour is your egg white as i say many times on uh, this channel i don't use egg whites uh, i like to be vegan friendly if i can uh, because my normal business i encounter lots and lots of uh, vegans and hens pregnant people things like that so uh, well I, I use this uh, miss betters bitters miraculous famous equivalent 160 egg whites in there will do exactly the same sort of thing so uh, i'm going to dry shake this uh, to create that froth and you can see that does exactly the same thing look at all the froth in there right now i'm going to ice this up and then shake this down Going to shake it properly. Right, hard fast shake, 10 12 seconds. Right, pop that out. And then you could, uh, as I'm just going to do this quickly, you could do fresh ice in there, but I'm just literally going to shake and dump. And there we go. That is your brandy sour. I garnish with a dehydrated, I've got one out already, dehydrated orange. And there we go, traditional kind of brandy sour. Mm. absolutely amazing love that now the third one i'm going to make for you uh and Kavazi, i love rocking this out when they do events uh this is the champagne cocktail uh, i've got my tiny my smaller much smaller coupe glass there and i'm going to make it straight in the coupe glass there uh, i do want some uh, brown or demerara sugar for this I keep washing my tools up and leaving them over there so i want a bar spoon of um brown or demerara sugar That'll do, just in the base there. Um, next, I want to go some, I say, you would probably use aromatic, Angostura aromatic bitters. I like using uh, Miss Betters bitters, the aromatics. And again, a bit too much there, but about a third of a pipette. So just pour that over the, um, uh, over the sugar in there then i'm going for my brandy i'm going 30 ml so one ounce of brandy in there there we go now uh this bit you kind of have to uh, spend some time stirring down which again you know we would use i have got brown sugar syrup here somewhere there it goes i could have used that that would have been the faster thing but i'm going traditional for you so i'm just going to kind of stir all this in this is kind of this is kind of the classic way. I just want to show you. I, you know, I would use that on events. Of course, I would. I wouldn't spend time doing this. And then we just traditionally top up, and obviously, I'm tight. I don't have champagne. I've got prosecco here that I opened uh, for another video for the drink stuff channel. Um, so I'm just going to top it up with a bit of. Still got a bit of gas left in it. 
There we go. Traditionally, it would be um, triple the amount to brandy. So if you did 30 mil, one ounce, you would do roughly about three ounces, 90 mil of um, champagne or Prosecco in there. But then stir it up a little bit more. I say sugar, the sugar syrup's just a lot easier to use. But that is your champagne cocktail. It's absolutely amazing. Again, brandy, Prosecco, champagne, a little bit of Demerara or brown sugar. It's just absolutely amazing. Quite happily, quite happily drink that. Right, cocktail number four. Um, let's crack uh, Let's crack this one out, Nicanora. This is... Um, this, res this recipe, this is, uh, this is the sidecar. This is kind of open to, open to interpretation on your ratios. I've got my ratio, like, much like a daiquiri. It's essentially a daiquiri, uh, but brandy instead of uh, cognac, uh, instead of rum. Uh, I have got my kind of ratios for this. Uh, for me, it works perfectly, but you kind of might want to flip up and, and just play about with it a bit more. So cocktail shaker. Uh, for me, 50 mil, double bubble of this. Okay. Now, uh, next ingredient traditionally would be a triple sec or a Cointreau, uh, and that would be traditional by all means. Again, I, I keep coming back to it. I absolutely love using this as my orange liqueur. Uh, I think it's absolutely banging, and it has got that tiny little extra bit of sweetness for me, so works an absolute treat. Uh, so I'm going 15 mil, one five of this Fortunella. And, and then the final ingredient is lemon juice. And, and I just go 10 mil, 10 mil of um, freshly squeezed lemon juice. There we go, 10 mil in there. That is essentially your cocktail. So just wanna shake this down, plenty of ice. Excuse the hands, there we go. Right. Uh, what's that one like? Yeah, we can use that. Right, hard, fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. There we go. Right, and I've just, halfway through shaking, just quickly rinsed this because it had milk and cream on it. Uh, we wanted double strain. I need to get another strainer. Uh, double strain through here into your Nick and Nora glass. And this is the sidecar. There we go, absolutely lovely jubbly, and I've got another one that was just left over. I go dehydrated orange on top. So this is cocktail number four. If you love your daiquiris, if you love the spirits, do the work. Amazing for me. Probably the probably the my least favourite actually, and I love daiquiris, uh, but my favourite is the sour. And I love the champagne cocktail as well. Uh, but the last one I'm going to do is the between the sheets. Um, this is it's got a few more other ingredients into it, but it's lovely. Mm. Got to stop drinking that. Right, I'll use this shaker again. So, um, first ingredient is I'm going to work in UK for this one. Uh, 25 mil of your brandy. Here we go. We actually go white rum for the next one. Most bars would use Bacardi, but uh, I obviously go Ron Kube, my Cuban, uh, Cuban white rum. Uh, so I go 25 mil of that, equal measures. You could do this in ounces. You could go 30 mil, 30 mil if you wanted to. Um, so very similar to the last cocktail, this one. Uh, just got a bit of rum. You could go, uh, how much we've got left? Yeah, we've got plenty of left in there. I have to order another bottle. Uh, 25 mil of your orange liqueur, traditionally triple sec or Cointreau, but I say I just love the vibrancy of something like this or Grand Marnier, I really do. And then two more ingredients to come. We go 10 mil of lemon juice. And then we go five mil of um, sugar. And so this is the between the sheets. So these are the classic, classic uh, brandy cocktails. Uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Fresh ice in here. Now, uh, before I shake this down, I just kind of, you can kind of understand why for people like me that loves 
fun and fruity drinks. You can kind of understand why brandy is kind of seen as that class above pretentious spirit, okay? There is nothing fun and exciting and wow about those drinks. They are just very good, brandy forward, classic cocktails. And I'm not about that at all. Uh, I love these drinks. Would I order these on a night out? No, I wouldn't. I prefer to drink neat brandy, neat cognac if I was on a night out. Might have a brandy sour, um, but you know. So let's just shake this up. So there we go. So this is uh, the Between the Sheets. Very, sim very similar to the, to the last one I did, just with kind of the addition of um, uh, rum, really. So again, double strain in there. There we go. So there we go. That's the five classic brandy cocktails. Um, my favourites. I would do this. Uh, I would go brandy sour first. I'd actually go between the sheets second because of the rum in there as well. Champagne cocktail third, brandy Alexander fourth, and um, the psycho. Psycho? Yeah, the psycho. I forgot what it was called there. The psycho car in fifth. Um, but yeah, now um, what I'm going to do in the next video is kind of. It's when we get the smiles on our faces. It's when we kind of. Hopefully, the next cocktail, the next video will be the inspiration for you. It will open your eyes up to what this bad boy can actually do. So stay tuned for that in a few days time if you're watching these live. If you're watching these in the future, then it will be up there somewhere for you. But I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to know more about Brandy, go and check out my first video in this series. But this is number two. Stay tuned for number three.